Hey there friends, how's it going? Richard here coming at you. Uh, well, 2023 Model Y is in, been about two weeks, but now it's accessories time. So I'm gonna share with you uh, an accessories package that I bought for the Model Y, and it's actually a pretty good value when you look at all the components that you get with it. So let's go to what the accessories come with and what it cost. All right, so I actually got this seven piece uh, Tesla Model Y, I think it actually fits the Tesla Model 3 as well, um, kit inside of it. Sorry if you hear panting, it's Uncle John over here, just got into my walk. So anyways, pretty good value, um, I'll drop the link, I think I paid somewhere around $70 in total for this, uh, and I'll explain to you why I did it, because there are a number of sets you can find, especially on Amazon, you can buy a lot of these components individually from Tesla, but when I found this kit, I thought it was tremendous value, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, first thing we have here are the cups. I shared with you a video uh, why I think the Tesla Model Y, the 2023 that I have, and I assume that it goes back to like 2021, why those front cup holders are horrible. Anyways, this is an insert to make it a little more sturdy. So that's piece number one. Piece number two is a webcam cover. Um, I guess this you put like the front of the, it's like a clip of some sort. Um, but you can put this on the front camera that looks inside because remember now with the app, you can check out what's going on uh, using the cameras inside of the vehicle. Uh, so now you can block that and protect that. So that's part number two. Part number three, this I believe is the center armrest inside on the underside of the armrest. I'll show you where that is. There's a little space. So you can create another like secret chamber. That's part number three. Uh, part number four, these go into, I don't know which one is which, but these two go into the uh, armrest. One of them goes into the armrest and then one of them goes into the deep pocket with the sliding door. So one, two, three, four, parts four and five. And then part six and seven are under storage cubbies. So these are cool, like, uh, take this out. But very simply, it's just a, a bin. There's some foam on the side to protect whatever uh, is underneath the chair. But they essentially slide underneath. You can put like umbrella, water bottles, just keep them there. So I thought like with the baby stuff, always have handy, uh, like got an umbrella, uh, paper towel, stuff like that inside the bins. So let's take these. So again, one, two, three, seven pieces. Uh, I'll drop the link in the description below, but let's see how they look inside of the car. Okay, so we're here inside the Tesla Model Y. Forgive the dirt, we just got back from uh, a little bit of a road trip visiting some family for a holiday. But anyways, let's start installing these pieces. Uh, take it out of the wrapper, there's no special packaging or anything. Uh, so let's start with this. Uh... All right, so this is the under seat storage. And it's again, we're just gonna put it underneath here. All you do is boom, slide it in there. And now we have under seat, let me get out of here a little bit. Under seat storage, what is that? One year complete at the motor, I guess. Might have to buy a cover for that, but cool. Like, so now we can have water or stuff like that just inside there. No worries, no having like spilling all over the place. So that's pretty cool. I really, I really think that's a good value. Um, I think I saw each one of those, if you buy like a two pack, it was like $40, but then when you get this set, Again, everything you get included uh, ended up being about $70. So that's one. We're going to throw another one underneath the driver's seat. These also go, if you wanted to get two more, so four in total, these also fit underneath the rear of the driver and passenger seats here. My only issue with that is it will interfere in the back of the Model Y. Child seat. In the back, the, you can see there's a ton of legroom there and I don't want to interfere with that. So I'm not, and I really don't have the need for that many buckets in here. So I'm just going to use the, the two up there, the, uh, because it doesn't impair anyone's feet when, they're, when we're driving or in the car. So it's going to have those two, but know that these also, you can put two more back here to have four of those cubbies in total. All right, so that's part number one. Part number two, let's do the cup holder since that's pretty simple. This is like a harding, uh, somewhat of a harder plastic. It's not as flexible as you would think. It's probably gonna take some time to but, uh, to fill in, but all you do is drop it in and booyah. If you wanna slide it out, I'm sure it just like comes out. Yep. So you can see my big issue was that when you put like a cup in here or a bottle of water, um, I think I have a bottle of water somewhere. 
Let me just get that bottle of water. Where is it? Uh, I know I had a bottle of water here somewhere. Do I have it here? No. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, needs a cleaning. Needs a deep polishing. Get that done sometime soon. But let's just head back to the other side since I do have this bottle of water. A little more to work with. There's the logo. Okay. So when we get into the car, and I show again, I'll, I'll link to the video. When you put this, look at this. I mean, you're driving, you hit a bump, that's gonna spill on somebody. It may not fall over unless it's, you've been drinking it, it probably falls over, but that's that's way too much play. And then uh, I shared in my video, prior video, that I drink like a Tess, uh, a Trenta iced coffee from Starbucks. It's a massive cup. It's almost like if you can see that cup that I have over there, it's a big metal cup that I have, but similar in size. That thing you put in here, same thing. It's like wobbling all around. And if you if you drink a little bit, uh, you know, I really think it's gonna fill. So just a little insert there to make it a little more secure. That's part number two. Cool things, cool things. All right, part number three. I'm not gonna insert this now, but this is the uh, webcam cover. Presumably this goes up here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna use that, if I'm gonna use it, but there you go. It's a webcam cover that probably slides over. That's part number three. Um, what else we have here? Got a couple of inserts for this is what we're talking about here. Let's get this bad boy in. So as you can see, uh, this is a little secret compartment for storage. So what you do is, ah, uh, these are stickers, it looks like. Um, I'll have to take the stickers off. Let me do the stickers off. Could I do it with one hand? All right, it's gonna be too hard. Let me just do that. All right, we took the little stickies off. It reveals some adhesive. So again, all we're gonna do with this is create a storage, secret storage compartment here by putting this right inside of there. So let's, um, this doesn't come with any instructions, which is, I wonder if I want to do it like this. No, because I think if I want, I'm just trying to think if you should do it this way or that way. Um, actually, it tapers. I didn't realize that. So it goes upside. The door will will fold, will push down on here. So we'll just squeeze that in there. Make sure it's nice and flush. Feels just, there you go. That's your secret compartment. Um, I don't know if I like that. Because if you drop something in there, then how do you pick it up here? But the problem is that the way it's designed the other way, uh, there's 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 a slant in it, so I don't, I don't think it goes in the other other orientation. Anyways, whatever. It's just a secret thing there. Couldn't put some cool stuff in there. Whatever. All right, that's that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the inserts for these things. Okay, and I don't know which one goes where. So let's see if there's a difference in size. This one I feel like goes here for some reason. Let's see. Or maybe not, maybe that goes there. Uh, does this, okay, this, there we go. That, there's like a, okay, cool. There's a little ridge here on both sides, I suspect. And then this thing just sits on that. So it's kind of cool, you still, have access to all that space inside of there. But for more of your common items or regular items, you can just sit it there. There's a little notch right up here that you can just push this forward and slide that through. So we really drop and let that thing go. And then here, this insert. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this insert though. Um, Cause you can see there's no, so this has to go like this. Same thing. And this is gonna sit on, let me pull this back out. This ledge over here, this just drops in and sits right there. So that if you wanna take it out, you'll have to take out the whole thing to then access what you got underneath. But a little more organization doesn't hurt. So there you go, seven pieces. Uh, we dropped that organizer there, that tray. Let me just slide that out, which is kind of cool. Close that. Got the cup insert, got the webcam cover, one, two, three. 
got this four a little secret storage five and then two of these trays i'll drop the link of the amazon link in the description below again for the value you get i think it's pretty good as you can see installation didn't come with any specific installation instructions but just drop it in there uh pretty easy to, to resolve and again adds a little more may, not space to your model y or model three but just simply organization hopefully you found this interesting if you did uh, let's do that okay cool so i'll make sure that that's closing good it is closing um oh you found it helpful you like the product again dropping the link to amazon below if you want to add it to your cart and yo till next time take care be well bye for now